Hey, it's Dan Z from Coffee with Kenobi bringing you today's CWK Coffee Break. Again, we have to talk about The Last Jedi. I feel like that's going to be a huge part of Star Wars conversation for a very long time, certainly until we get to Solo, which is really not that far away. Six months between Star Wars films, unprecedented. It'll be interesting to see how that impacts us as fandom goes. But I think it's going to be great. Speaking of great, one of the things I love about The Last Jedi was Carrie Fisher's performance. General Leia has come a very, very long way in 40 years of Star Wars fandom, in Star Wars lore, in Star Wars mythology. I want to talk especially about the scene that everybody is talking about, and that is the scene when General Leia is on the bridge of the Raddus, which is a cool callback to Rogue One's character Admiral Raddus, voiced by the awesome Stephen Stanton, of course. She, the ship blows up the bridge, and everyone floats into space. And that scene when you see Leia floating, she very much looks like an angel in a way, the way it's lit. And then her finger starts to twitch and her eyes open in space. And they play that beautiful, haunting version of John Williams' Leia theme from Star Wars New Hope. And she floats really quickly. Not really floats, she kind of goes quickly when I think about it. Towards the ship again, gets inside and she's safe. Now people are saying, well that's a... Uh, that's never happened in Star Wars. That's a different kind of way to use the Force. Yeah, it's very different. And think about Star Wars The Force Awakens. At the very beginning when uh, Poe tries to blast Kylo and Kylo freezes the blaster bolt in the air. We've never seen it done like that before, but it happened. That's what's cool about Star Wars is every film you see something new about what the Force does. I mean, think about in The Empire Strikes Back, Vader catches Han Solo's blast in his blaster flies across the table in Cloud City. He absorbs the blast. That's something new for the Force. In Return of the Jedi, we see Luke actively blocking bolts when the speeder bike is shooting at him on Endor. That's pretty new, too. As far as someone from the, the good side of the Force, the light side of the Force, choking a Gamma Ray and Garden, hadn't seen that before either. There are all kinds of instances of the Force being used in new, wondrous ways. And the fact that Leia does this to me, it blew me away because, first of all, again, the score was beautiful. But in the book Leia, Princess of Alderaan, that came out a few months ago, Leia has a scene where mud, a mudslide is coming as she's training for these different trials that are going to happen as she becomes the future queen of Alderaan. And she thinks she's going to be suffocated by the mudslide, but she moves and floats away to safety. And when I read that the first time, I thought, whoa, Leia is showing some force abilities that's never happened before. I wonder if they'll show that in a new film, The Last Jedi. And they did. And that was really, really cool. Because of course she's going to be force sensitive. Her brother is Luke Skywalker, her father, you know, the guy with the black helmet, Darth Vader. He's a pretty powerful Jedi. Her brother's a pretty powerful Jedi. It only makes sense that you had, she would have some force abilities. And she really should. It's really about time. In fact, Kathleen Kennedy has gone on record saying it's about time. She was happy to see it. I was thrilled to see it. And I think, again, that shock, all these things from The Last Jedi are blowing us away, causing so much incredible conversation. What do you think about that scene? How does that add to how you perceive General Leia? And what's going to happen to her character in the future? Kind of interesting and ironic and really, really unfortunate that of the three big three actors, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, and Mark Hamill. Hamill and Ford are with us, of course, but their characters are not in the Star Wars films anymore. Leia still exists in the Star Wars universe, so where her character arc goes, to me, that is a huge reason why I can't wait till episode 9. What are they going to do with Carrie Fisher's role? Where is where's General Leia going to be? A good writer like J.J. Abrams can make that work, and what's going to happen? Only time will tell. Can't wait to find out more about it. Thank you for joining me on today's CWK Coffee Break. We'll see you next time.